<laughs> okay, you're probably wondering what the heck that was. We'll get to that later. Um, but this video is about uh, circle hooks for striped bass. And the one thing I want you to get out of here is you do not want to use a small circle hook. You want to use a larger circle hook. Um, that's the one thing I want to get at here. Uh, use smaller hooks where the point is here now. You're going to find yourself gut hooking more striped bass. Um, than if you use the larger circle hook and I can tell you you're going to gut hook more striped bass than if you use the J hook So I suggest you use at least I like a 7-0, but even a 9-0 is even better um, This is a must add 12 volt to the left over here, but uh, they all will work but Make sure w when you're using circle hooks for striped bass use a larger hook do not use a small hook I don't want to use an offset uh, circle hook um, you're gonna find yourself gut hook and more fish than if you're using a regular J hook and you don't want to really be using a bent eye you're not gonna get the effectiveness as you would with an inline circle hook we'll get to that later but if you use that bent shanked hook or that offset circle hook for striped bass I guarantee you will find yourself gut hook and more striped bass than you did with J hook so make sure your hooks in line Okay, you probably wonder when that thingy was this thingy is that I made. Well, that's actually my model of a striped bass It got a mouth Not the prettiest thing, but it's gonna we're gonna get to this in a minute and uh, that's my model striped bass Kind of neat again what this video is about make sure you're using a larger inline circle hook about a size 7 0 to 9 0 go with the 9 0 if you're not sure striped bass fishing if you use a smaller circle hook I guarantee you will be gut hooking fish more than you ever did with J hooks so make sure you use a larger circle hook for striped bass fishing okay this segment what I want to talk about are three things you can do to make that circle hook work better for striped bass you know that you want to be using a larger hook and you know you do not want to be using a smaller hook but one thing, and you don't want to use an offset hook, one thing that actually can make that circle hook work like a circle hook better than a circle hook is if you use a dull circle hook for striped bass. Believe it or not, if you use a dull circle hook for striped bass, it's going to, even if that fish takes it into its stomach, there's a lesser chance that that hook point is not going to hook into the, anywhere within that stomach region, anywhere within the esophagus region, anywhere within the throat region. It's going to make its way through the mouth region find its way onto the jaw and get hooked. Another thing you can do to your circle hook to make it a better circle hook is to crush that barb on that circle hook. You're going to have a better penetrating hook. It's going to lock around the lip of that jaw. There's no need for a barb on a circle hook and you're going to have the penetrating, better pen penetrating power with the barbless circle hook. So crush those barbs. Okay, before I mention, make sure you, you're using an inline circle hook with a straight eye. And the reason why you want that straight eye is because you want to snell your circle hook. When you snell that circle hook, your lead is going to create an angle. And that angle helps that circle hook get, get caught within the fish's mouth. And I did a little quick demonstration about how this worked. But you can see the angle here created by the leader coming out of the eye. And uh, we're going to see how that aids in this little demonstration I do here. Okay, here's our striped bass we were talking about. Here's our circle hook we're talking about. And uh, I'm going to show you, we're going to get back to him later about how these work, but here's the angle. I want to show you this angle here. The whole idea of that angle is striped bass is going to come eat it, and that hook, it's going to guide it and almost drop that circle hook into the jaw. If that was straight, it, it, it would just, might come out like a J hook, you don't know, but it helps. Now we're going to get to the fun stuff. This is uh, my, my uh, mock bass. I'm going to name him. This is Billy the Bass. Hey, Billy. And uh, he's got a mouth. And uh, so I'm going to show you guys. This is my demonstration. This is what I've been waiting for. And this is, I spent hours working on this guy. I actually did a lot of clips, and it was a tough one getting this all cut up. And, and into, uh, I'm trying to get under five minutes, but we're close. But we're going to get to the demonstration now with the circle hooks. I want to start here with Billy the Bass. <laughs> um, uh, talk about what you do not want to do with a uh, circle hook. Uh, with J hooks, 
Billy the Bass comes, grabs your hook, and you want to set it right away. You want to set it before he eats it, not with circle hooks. I'm going to show you now. Now I'm going to talk about the mindset of a circle hook. The whole idea, I'm going to slow it down, the whole idea of a circle hook is you want uh, Billy the Bass here to come along, and you want him to eat, you want him to swallow, and the further he takes that hook down into the gullet, the better. Um, you want him to swallow that bait. That's why you do not want to be using smaller circle hooks. That's why you want to be lar using larger circle hooks and inline. Uh, you don't want any properties of a J hook. You want that fish to swallow that circle hook, and it's just going to make it a far more effective hook set. So I'm going to show you. Your fish comes, Billy the Bass comes, and he's going to eat that hook. And the more line that, you know, the more further down that he swallows that bait, that whole idea, that circle hook, okay, he's going to close his mouth. Pretty neat, this model. Does the job. And you're going to slowly pull your line. Slow, not fast. That's why when you set the hook, you don't want to whap it like a J hook. And that hook is going to get caught onto the side of the striped bass's mouth or Billy the Bass here. That circle hook's going to get caught on this, uh, in, in its jaw. And, uh, this was actually a perfect, perfect, perfect hook set and uh, caught a fish. And you see that circle hook gets caught moving out slow on its way out. And uh, actually, I wasn't even trying that, but that was a perfect hook set. That's where you'd want to get all your hook sets in the corner of the jaw over there on its way out. A slow exit from, from the gut cavity through its esophagus into the jaw. I took enough of your time, so I'm going to wrap this up quick and uh, reiterate, you want to use a larger circle hook, you don't want to use a small circle hook. The small circle hook is going to result in more foul hook fish than a J hook ever would. You want to make sure that that hook is inline and preferred with an inline eye. Your most effective circle hooks, you're going to want to snell that hook. A barbless hook is going to give you more penetrating power. And possibly using dull hooks will give you more properties of the circle hook, although I like to use sharp circle hooks myself. Um, the hook set, it's good. you want that striped bass to eat that hook slow. You want to set your hook slowly, either with a slow ease and lift of the rod, or a couple of slow cranks till you feel that weight and let that hook do its own thing. But I just want to say thanks for your time. Thanks, thanks for watching. Please like, dislike, comment, subscribe to the channel or not. And uh, remember always, fish your way uh, when you can. And have a great afternoon, night, day, evening, wherever you are. And a happy new year to all.